are you interested to know about the meta analysis do you want to know how to analyze the meta data or do you want to know how to interpret the meta analysis then you are in the right place welcome to my channel dr munshi nasser skill zone how are you my dear learners in this video we are going to talk about subgroup meta analysis using a practical data set so without wasting any time let's get started my dear learners in this video we are going to use r programming to analyze the meta data don't worry it's a very easy technique all you have to do download the r studio follow my command and the codes you will get the same result or you can take the help from chat gpt or you can help take the help from the japs software which i already discuss in my channel in the meta analysis playlist okay now for this video we would like to know what kind of data we are talking about here studies event total patients and drug what is the subgroup analysis subgroup analysis for example if there are different studies and the study effect size are different depending on the groups for example in this case drug 1 and drug 2 or sometimes depending on the gender for example male and female we would like to know let's assume whether drug 1 has a side effect on our patient or drug 2 side effect on our patients or what is the effect size depending on the boys and girls if that is the, your research question then you are good to use subgroup meta analysis okay and subgroup meta analysis the main objective is to find out whether there is a heterogeneity or is there any differences if we group the two different type of entities while analyzing your effect size okay now in this case we have different studies study 1 to study 14 and as you can see event total patients and drug so our main research objective is to see whether drug 1 has a similar effect like drug 2 depending on the treatment group of the patient across the studies so let's assume the study number 1 we have 190 patients in that particular study they have used drug 1 and they found that the event is 103 which means the 103 of the patients has a side effect let's assume that another study which used drug 1 where they have used 108 patients and then out of 108 they have found 45 patients has a similar side effect okay now in the drug 2 case you can see study to 174 patients among that 39 patients showing the side effect here in the another study drug 2 in study number 6 78 patients and out of 78 10 patients showing the side effect so we would like to know this drug 1 and drug 2 across this studies what we have found are similar results giving or they have a heterogeneous or different type of results or variable results are giving and that is the reason why we are using subgroup meta analysis now in this case very simple all you have to do copy this data set and you can use and practice using r studio i will upload this data set for your practice and also this r code so that you can do it at your home with your own time okay now first of all r read.csv is uploading the data installing the meta package and then all you have to do just run this meta proportion function to find out a nice little diagram like this which is called the forest plot okay and now this diagram similarly if you download it it will be like that so drug 1 study 1 to study 12 and drug 2 to study 2 to study 14 they have divided and then events meaning that how many of the patients have the side effect and total number of patients and we have a random effect model because we would like to know the effect size variability the proportion technique this proportion is our effect size as you know that the rix rix ratio or odds ratio representing the proportion so you can use rix ratio as a effect size or proportion itself you can use as a effect size and also we are using 95% confidence interval to know about what is the range of this proportion falls under okay so now this is the result we have used this r programming technique and this is our data set now how do we explain it 
without taking help from any any person okay there is a nice little way one is called the chat gpt nowadays chat gpt has a nice little feature in the regular version not the paid version regular version this is a nice little attached picture and then say can you explain this forest plot in details and you can see chat gpt is answering all these things very easily for example individual study results and the random effect results so what is the random effect results drug one it says that the diamond at the bottom of the drug one which means if you look at this diamond drug one and diamond for drug two and this is the overall effect okay and it says that the the each study is proportion you see here diamond of the drug one section represents the pool proportion 0.50% lies under 95% confidence interval and the i square statistics indicates high heterogeneity among the studies meaning the results are quite variable drug two summary similar in the di diamond shape drug two if you look at this diagram this is the diamond shape this is the overall random effect size summary and it says that this is also having high heterogeneity the bottom di diamond combines you go to the last bottom this this one it combines the result of drug one and drug two and it says the bottom di diamond combines the results from both drugs giving an overall pooled proportion 50.53 or 53 percent which shows high heterogeneity so the study is having high heterogeneity so you need to consider that you cannot take a conclusive result from this meta analysis now statistical information that can be found you can get it from the chat gpt for free and interpretation also you can get it very easily so finally it says this analysis suggests that while both drugs have similar average even rates the variability in the results across different studies is very high now there is another nice little way you can explain your results this is called the julius ai it is also a free there is a free option and 15 data analysis you can do by julius ai in a month for free then you go for a subscription but i guess 15 is enough for your meta analysis because in a month how many analysis you are doing right so here you can see you can use python or you can use r as well in julius.ai all you have to do go to julius.ai upload the picture from your data set analysis either using r programming japs or any platform like comprehensive meta analysis software no problem you just upload it ask the same question that i asked and then julius.ai will explain the way i just explained from the chat gpt and this is also almost free software you can use so now you can understand using this practical data r programming chat gpt julius ai to know about how to do a subgroup meta analysis i hope this video is useful for you if you really want to know more about meta analysis do subscribe my channel and also write your comment in the comment box i will get back to you thank you so much my dear learners i hope this video is useful i will see you with more exciting information about research data analytics and life skills in my next tutorial bye bye